Hey everybody, welcome back to another reaction video. Hope you're doing well. My name is Todd. This is Brandon and Callie Saturn. I think the song is called Saturn. I'm not exactly sure. This is from the Fosters. This video is requested by a Patreon subscriber. You two can join the Patreon link down below in the description. We'll get you there. Do a like on the video if you like it. Subscribe to the channel if you're new here. Hit that notification bell. That way you know when videos post immediately and you can come check them out and let's go. you told me about the one you loved was it brandon why do you say that your eyes light up when you talk about him well that is because he's my best friend we were friends kind of dead giveaway and, and i'm not gonna shut her out of my life anymore so deal with it you and Callie need a little time and space what to get over each other well it's not gonna happen okay we're in love and in keeping us apart it's not gonna change that what about brandon what about Brandon? Do you love him? I don't know. I don't know. I can't. I can't love him. That so your feelings for Brandon weren't genuine? No, they were. Would you say you were in love? I love you, Brandon. I love you, too. I love you. I love you, too. Where is this coming from, Brandon? I'm I was still helping. in love with you. Oof. If Romeo and Juliet Oof. had just told their parents, maybe their ending wouldn't have been so tragic. Do you ever think what might have happened if we just told? It's too late. I know. We can't. We can't ever tell anyone. Hey. Hey. What's wrong? Reminds me of that quote, like, I want to be, I want to have a private life, but not hidden. So you're not hiding your partner. You're just keeping a lot of this stuff private. So you're actively showing people you are with this person, but you're not like airing out all your dirty laundry. Why are you crying? It's a recipe for a disaster if you try to keep it hidden. It's not fair to the other people. We're not going to allow this woman to discredit our daughter and then destroy our family with her lies, Lena. We can't sue her. Oh, yes, we can. We absolutely can. We can't because it's true. Look, it wasn't until you that I could be with someone the way you're supposed to without the, the shame and the guilt, at least in the moment. I don't want to regret that. I don't. I don't regret it. You taught me the courage of stars before you left. This wasn't meant to be. Boy, it's a lot of drama for two teenagers to handle. I guess it's meant to be. Doing this. But we do. We keep doing this. It's what we feel. It's once in a lifetime. I guess there's kind of two ways to enjoy the show. Well, there's probably more than that, but the two that come to mind instantly is the people that kind of parallel this or some of the experiences that these two go through. And then you have the other people like me kind of where it's like, you don't really have any sort of relation to most of the drama. You're just watching it for the drama, like stuff that you missed out on or didn't partake in, or hopefully thankfully missed out on some of it. But, uh, yeah, it's kind of like a, what I would say, you know, watching like The Hills and Laguna Beach and and uh, all those like MTV reality shows is kind of like watching life that you didn't particularly live. So it's kind of like living vicariously through them. Obviously, some of the tragic stuff you don't actually want to live through, but if you relate to it, then it hits, it's more impactful. 
I miss you, all of you. You are my family. No matter what, they, they can't make you live with them. We'll still be your family. This is your family. That's all that matters. I never realized until today that for us to be together, you have to give up everything. Dude, I can't deal with this. Listen to me. Don't go get any big ideas about running away or taking off or something. So, I don't think that we can do this anymore. Bringing classical music is, it's like your one true love. <laughs> and we don't always get to have our one true love. Do we? Knew it was gonna be a big line. <laughs> No reason to believe there's anything here to prevent your adoption. There's nothing romantic going on with you and Brandon any longer. How rare and beautiful. I didn't know that was a stipulation. No, Your Honor, that's over. I am obviously not well read on family court. <laughs> I didn't know that was a stipulation or even a thing, but. Good to know. Good to know. Link down below in the description for the original video. Go throw out some love. The one interesting thing that really sticks out to me is the fact that we may get older, we may mature, we may become smarter, more well-read, more worldly, etc. Uh, but a lot of the drama and a lot of the situations they found themselves in are perfectly reasonable adult situations you might get yourself in you know kind of like that forbidden love or or uh wanting to be with somebody and you just can't for whatever reason could be distance could be timing you never really know what life has in store for you but um the good news is as time goes on you have more and more opportunities for positive and negative things yes negatives are also terrible to go through, but it kind of makes you appreciate the ups, makes you appreciate the good things in life. So by them not getting together, it sucks for however long that uh, they had feelings for each other, but eventually you kind of move on and you just live your life with somebody else or, or you dive into a passion that you're really passionate about and you go do that. There's a lot of different routes that you can take in life, but just by having one route end doesn't mean the rest of them also end. You just kind of move on to the next one. <laughs> What's funny is I'm now watching that with a little bit more context into some of the more dramatic parts that they had. You know, it wasn't all gumdrops and roses. And I did read a couple comments that said they were kind of toxic together, which honestly, when you look at some of the stuff in the other video that I watched, uh, makes sense. <laughs> Seems like it was kind of doomed from the start. Let me know your thoughts on the show. Do you think that you watch it more as an escape, more as relatable content, or more as, I never really went through most of this, so I'm just watching it just for, you know, a voyeur, a voyeuristic kind of way where you're just living vicariously through the characters. For me personally, why I'm kind of drawn to it is the fact that I'm basically living vicariously through these characters. It's a lot of teen drama that I did not deal with. So a lot of the stuff I watched in high school, Laguna Beach, season one and two, third was not great. Uh, the Hills. So I basically just followed Lauren Conrad throughout her life. <laughs> I watched The O.C., which is classic. Such a good show. I watched all those MTV, like real world and whatnot, just to see all this different stuff that... You know, people went through and I I just never really experienced a lot of that. I had my own issues to face, of course, but I never had those like dramatic situations that seem to only happen in shows, but they do happen in real life. So let me know how you watch the show. I hope you enjoyed that as much as I did. Thanks so much for watching. I appreciate it. I'll see you in the next one. Take care of yourselves. Patreon link down in the description. Thanks for subscribing. I'll see you in the next one.